How's everybody doing this fine morning? I'm doing pretty good. I actually just finished unloading here at my delivery place. It only took In him... Half mile. Turn right on Airport Road. Yeah. Five and a half hours. Only took him five and a half hours. I was here this morning at uh, 5.30. And I'm just leaving right now and it's 12 o'clock Pacific time, I think they call it. Anyways, it's two hours ahead of our time, so. Yeah, so that just took him a little while. Oh yeah, huh? they got it done. It's a lot of work, a lot of cabinets. They lift, they pull, uh, put them on a, uh, lifting system there and then they got to lift them all the way up to the big story building up there and in 700 feet turn right on airport road unload them up there and then guide the forklift down again oh that's a lot of work yes sir it is but now it's done now we're gonna go over to our uh, reload location supposed to be there at five o'clock this afternoon but that ain't gonna happen there's no way that's gonna happen so let's get out of this town it's in a little tight tone like usual Probably go to some truck stop if I can find me one here pretty soon. Grab me a bite to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day long. Turn right on WA270. We had some jukebox said the other day. You know, if you're going to go to a place where you know it's going to take you a while to unload, or even if you just point to a place that you've never been, make sure you eat. Construction ahead. Good thing you didn't call me there, Mr. Jukebox, and tell me all the good stuff you just ate. Let's get out of here and uh, put the hammer down towards our reload location. Yeah, guys, this is one of the little towns that we have to go through. Yep, looks like a very old historic town. Middle of nowhere, but hey, there are little old buildings. Somebody must have lived here a long time ago. They built it. Oh yeah. But it's always nice to see old buildings like this. Just kind of looking on what that four wheeler was thinking of doing. <laughs> yeah, we got to turn off here right away onto uh, 26 Highway 26. Let's see how that road is going to be. If I don't take that road, I got to go all the way to I-90. And that could be a good 45 minutes. Maybe even an hour up to there. Yeah, so we'll go take this road and it should take me straight west towards where I got to go. Yeah. Yeah, in 700 feet, slide left on WA26 West Walla Walla, and then slide left in 200 feet. Got about 330 miles to go. Oh boy. This looks weird. Slide left, and then okay. shift to the left in 0 0.6 miles. This is totally different, I guess. <laughs> oh well, that's what happens when you are in an area where you've never been before. Everything looks strange. But here we go. We got it done. There's another truck ahead of me there on this road, so it must be a truck route. 
in a half mile. Keep to the left on Palau's Scenic Byway, WA26. Scenic, scenic Highway. Can GPS can't say Scenic Highway. <laughs> oh. Anyways, let's get out of here. Hey guys, have a look at this. This is on Washington 26 Highway. Yeah, look at that. That's different. Different kind of rocks or whatever. Looks like almost sand there. Yeah, it looks like a sand beach there. Like a beach sand or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're going downhill. Look at that. Got a big lake up ahead of us there. That's interesting. I've never ever gone down on this highway, so that is definitely something new. Looks like, oh yeah, looks like we might be going over that bridge up there and then go across the river, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Looks like that should be I-90 that we're coming on to. Wow, that is, that is definitely different. I guess I don't know if I ever crossed that bridge there. I would almost think that I have because I've gone to Seattle before. So, and I'm going to go to Seattle area. I'm going a little south of Seattle. And that's where I'm going to pick up my, uh, my load. Yes sir. Anyways, we'll uh, see how this whole spiel will go. See where we got to go here. East? No, I don't want to go east. Feet, keep to the left on WA26, and then you take tell the me, RJ. You tell 0. me. 0.5 miles. I need to know. I never gone here, so you need to tell me where I'm supposed to go. Seattle, westbound. Yeah. Where we want to be at. Oh yeah! It is really hot out here today. 35 Celsius. This is probably very close to 100 Fahrenheit. I don't know the numbers, but that is hot, hot, In a hot. A mile. Take the entrance to the right on I-90 West. Okay, we will do that. We will do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy I think is having a hard time climbing this little ingrate hill here or whatever. And he's all over the road too. One time he's over that lane or comes over to the next lane. He's all over the place too. I don't know what he's doing. Either texting or something. Not paying uh, too much attention it looked like. Oh well. We should be coming across this bridge pretty soon. That looks weird, like a flatbed with a small trailer behind it. Yeah. Yeah, I gone down this, this highway here before. This I-90 here. I remember coming across here like this. Yes yeah, sir, I did. Continue on this road for 112 miles. I don't know how long ago it was. I don't remember filming it. I think last time I come across it was really foggy. They so couldn't really see it on time. But now we got the chance to film it and you guys are getting the chance to see it. For those of you that are not from this area at least, right? Well, it looks like there's even a boat way down there. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to pick that up. But... Yeah, look at that. Now we're going over the lake. Pretty big lake that we're going over. Looks like it's got to be a mile, mile and a mile and a half wide. Yeah, I would say. I would definitely say it's probably a mile, mile and a half long. That's for sure. Okay. I guess they got to make it tall so ships can go underneath there, or boats, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's just about it. Oh, they got a waterfall up there. Yeah. Yeah, that certainly was a boat coming into shore. Probably
probably went fishing. They got a boat launch right there. That's a nice boat too. Oh, there's another nice boat right there. Holy smokes, that's a nice boat. Expensive boat. That's for sure. But I can't afford it. I gotta continue driving, trying to make money. I got enough other bills to pay, so. Alright, let's move her over there. Good job. Because I'm empty. I'm just empty. Oh, yeah. We can go up here full speed. No problem, right? Anyways, we'll cross over this hill and see where that will take us. Looks like they have cut away from the rock here a little bit to make the highway not as steep on an incline. They do that a lot these days now. Here we go guys. We are already on I-90 here for a little while and we are cruising along towards Seattle and we did get ourselves a reload earlier we're gonna go to the terminal in Surrey BC and switch trailers and uh, go right back to Winnipeg with that load so if everything goes according to plan then we might be meeting up with a special guest tomorrow night if everything goes according to plan now if it doesn't go tomorrow night then maybe we can uh, do it the day after but uh, we'll certainly attempt to meet up with this person and I know this is a very very interesting gentleman he's very intelligent and he's not shy to talk on the camera either so oh yeah so we will be meeting up with him if it is at all possible so I'm very very much looking forward to that I can assure you of that and that will be uh, probably a video all by itself because uh, he uh, he's very enjoyable to listen to and talk to and very nice gentleman so we'll see if we can make that happen but we are coming back into the mountains again, which I knew we would. And you can probably see right up ahead, some big ass mountains up there. Oh yeah, we're going to see bigger ones than these ones yet. These are not the biggest one I've seen here in BC at least. I know we're still in Washington, but we will see some big mountains probably tomorrow guys will get to see it so be sure to stay tuned for that and be watch I couldn't help but turn on the camera it is just gorgeous look at these beautiful big rockies here to the left oh my goodness even there to the right just absolutely gorgeous I just had to turn on the camera a little bit and show you guys guys we are about 1.2 miles away from our pickup location yeah we made it by daylight oh yeah now I'm just gonna see how fast I can get in and out of here and then I can uh, make my way towards uh, towards uh, Surrey BC I don't know if I'll drive all the way up there tonight I don't really know I would like to but That'll be like, I don't know, 1 or 2 in the morning by my time and that's 12 o'clock their time, but I don't know if I feel like driving that late, but we'll see. At least I'm going to pick up my trailer, that's the least I'm going to do, and then we'll go from there, see what happens. Here we go guys, we just picked up our preloaded trailer, the sun is starting to go down, yeah, but that's okay I would really like to get across past Seattle tonight so 
so let's see if we can do that really keeping my fingers crossed that I could at least get to the other side of Seattle. In 2.5 miles, that turn right on awesome HWI 99 US 12. Because then I wouldn't have to deal with rush hour traffic tomorrow morning. That would be awesome. If I could possibly pull that off. Well, I can pull that off because I do have the hours to drive it, but it's going to be getting difficult to find a parking spot. The sun is going down, so you no, know, there's a few rest areas here and there, so maybe I'll find me a spot in one of them rest areas. So hopefully that will be the case. So we'll uh, go over there and see what our luck will bring us. Alrighty, guys, we are finished for today. Didn't quite uh, make it past uh, Seattle, but. Uh, Hey, that's the way it goes. I'm tired. I am finished for today. I can't drive any further. And there was a scale that has got parking in there. So I went in there and parked and I found one spot open. And that was good enough for me. That's all I needed. And guess what? I'm going to have some pizza pop and some orange juice. And grab yourself a quick bite to eat and uh, we'll head off to bed. Have a good night's sleep. That's what we need. Anyways, we will see you tomorrow again at uh, 2 a.m. Some of you. Some of you later on throughout the day. And be sure to stay tuned for all of my videos. Because you never know what could happen. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Share the video if you liked it. The, thumb, uh, the subscribe button should be right there in the corner. And with that. Have yourself a great day, and we will see you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.